How's it going, guys? It is 1.35 a.m., 25th of April here in Japan. We have a past level question for hematology, step one, step two. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give it a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram, Melman underscore medical, and me man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel. Down below and start the clip. 32-year-old woman, hemoglobin 9 grams per deciliter, normal range 12 to 17.5, menstruating women 13 to 17.5, non-menstruating women, men. MCV low 75 should be 80 to 100. Iron and ferritin are within the normal range. And the question wants to know what's most likely to be seen in this patient. So let's just hop to the answer choices here. Choice A, aberrant synthesis of alpha globin. Correct answer. Okay, this is thalassemia. Could be alpha or beta. It doesn't matter. Just it's the only answer here that refers to a thalassemia period, which is when you have a microcytic anemia despite a normal iron and ferritin. That's literally what you need to know for USMLE. Okay, you can't rely on the crutch of seeing target cells. Okay, so... You need to know there's two ways that thalassemia classically shows up. The first is this, a microcytic anemia, hemoglobin's low, MCV's low, but iron and ferritin are normal. That's thalassemia until proven otherwise. Next best step is gonna be hemoglobin electrophoresis. So when we're dealing with an adult here, if we do the hemoglobin electrophoresis and it's normal, that's gonna be one or two alpha mutations. If we have increased HBF and increased HbA2, Okay, HBF, obviously, alpha-2, gamma-2, HBA-2, alpha-2, delta-2. That's going to be beta thalassemia minor, okay, when we're dealing with adults here. So that's the first way uh, that thalassemia presents. The other is they like to do this for obs gyne questions in particular. They'll tell you there's a microcytic anemia that is non-responsive to iron supplementation. So they won't mention that the iron and ferritin are normal. They'll just say she has low hemoglobin, low MCV. She's been started on a multivitamin for pregnancy, let's say, or on an iron supplement. A month later, the MCV and the hemoglobin are still low. And you just need to know, next best step, check serum iron and ferritin. And then when you confirm that the iron and ferritin are normal, you say, oh, that's thalassemia. Now we're going to do the hemoglobin electrophoresis. Okay? So that's thalassemia on USMLE. Abnormal synthesis of the alpha or beta chain. Let's just hop through the other answer choice here real quick. Choice B, erythropoietin efficiency, wrong fucking answer, refers to anemia of chronic disease due to renal insufficiency, okay? This is a cytokine-mediated process. They'll give you a high creatinine. They'll give you, they can, they'll give you a low hemoglobin. MCV can be normal or low. You can absolutely have low MCV in anemia of chronic disease. They love giving you MCV in the 70s on 2CK questions in particular, especially for JRA, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis, as per my observation. And serum iron is going to be low. Ferritin is going to be normal. Okay, some students say, can it be increased? Sure, but normal. Okay, so ferritin is the most sensitive marker <clears throat> of your iron stores. So your ferritin is normal. You're not iron deficient, but your serum iron is low. Okay, and they can just give you renal insufficiency, and then the answer will be cytokine mediated EPO deficiency. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, glutamic acid valine substitution beta chain, wrong fucking answer, refers to sickle cell. Okay, so you're making the beta chain more hydrophobic. So you're going to have the beta chain slip into a complementary hydrophobic pocket on the alpha chain. That's one of the answers for the mechanism of sickling on one of the retired NBMEs. Okay, so dehydration increased acidity as examples. You're going to get increased sickling, autosomal recessive. Okay, long discussion. In this case, wrong fucking answer. Choice D, heterozygosity, spectrin, anchorin, band proteins, wrong fucking answer. Obviously, this is going to be hereditary spherocytosis. Okay, so this is cytoskeletal cell membrane defect, diagnosed with osmotic fragility test, eosin 5 malamide, can see increased MCHC. You're going to have a negative Coombs test. Wrong fucking answer. Choice E, Iron efficiency early stage, wrong fucking answer. Just threw this in here to be a flagrant asshole. Okay, I mean, ferritin, if this is normal, you don't have iron efficiency, okay, under no circumstances. So ferritin is the most sensitive marker of your iron stores. So if we hypothetically had early iron deficiency anemia, ferritin would still be low. I mean, that's it's just uh, fairly straightforward. If your ferritin's the normal range, you're not iron deficient. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. 
I appreciate your time. That's it.